How's it? How's it? Photography on YouTube has a bit of a problem in so much as often it's wrapped up in this idea that there are pro secrets that somehow we need to steal from those, those experts. And that paints a very, I think, divisive picture. It says that there are photographers over here who want to improve, who are, who are desperate to go beyond the technical aspects. And then the, everything they need to know is kind of controlled by this shadowy cabal of, of pros or the experts. And that's not really the case at all. What is actually missing is a conduit between the two. When I started getting into photo school, I was also going to nightclubs. And I thought, if I get into the, the VIP area, beyond that velvet rope, then you know I will just be cool by association. I'll learn some secret tricks. Now, photo school, I thought would be the same thing. I'll just get in there. But what actually happened was that I was introduced to people who understood my fundamental problem with growing as a photographer that afflicts every single photographer whom I've spoken to over the last couple of years in group sessions or one-on-ones, and that is that I didn't know the questions I needed to ask. But the people, the lecturers, they understood that that was my problem. They were able to guide and give suggestions to help me learn the language of photography, which then gave a foundation that I could then build on. And the more that I kind of discovered, the more I, I knew what I was asking. Learning the technical aspects of photography is pretty simple. I've never met a photographer whose real issue with getting better was, was technically uh, you know, sourced. It was always that they kind of, they knew what they wanted to get out, but it was like, well, where, do, where do I go? That's the, that's the secret that the pros have, is that they talk amongst themselves and talk about photography in a way that goes beyond the technical aspects. That's why their images are better, because they're sharing their common knowledge. I remember talking to a photographer just fairly recently, and, and he said, you know, Alex, it's obvious, I don't really need to remind you, but of course, photography is the art of taking away, whereas painting is the art of adding in. And, you know, I've, I've been a photographer for 30 odd years and I was like, well, maybe obvious to you, but <laughs> I've never heard this before, but it's such a cool thing. It makes perfect sense. That was just kind of just dropped. That's the benefit that I got over my career of being around people who talked about photography in a way that went beyond what lens did you use, what f-stop. But of course, you know, how do you, how do you fast track this? I, I have the benefit of, of 30 odd years behind me. I go to photo school. I've been around knowledgeable photographers for most of my life. But for most people who, you know, like you're watching this video, you may not have access to this. This, this is a fun hobby and you don't you want to commit all this time. But there is a couple of ways. Well, there are a couple of ways. Is, yeah, are, there are a couple of ways. My, my grammar is appalling. The first is, is to find people online who are willing to share their experiences. Now, it is, it, I admit it is tricky, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. So I would suggest in this case that you, you really niche down into the type of photography that you enjoy, because then it's a, it's a lot easier to learn the language. Don't just dump a picture and go, yeah, CC, welcome, and, and expect to grow that way. Nobody's going to offer up stuff. Where the real juice comes from is when you listen to conversations between people. Spend a time in any forum and you'll, you'll find that there are a couple of people who, who engage with other photographers and offer helpful advice. Those are the voices you want to listen to. Once you start to recognize them, and actually there's more of them around than you, than you think, and over time, engage with them. Have a chat. You can't force this thing. You can't leap and say, show me all your wisdom and stuff. It doesn't work like that, all right? So find some places. I found in, in a LinkedIn documentary wedding photography group, of, of which there were like kind of maybe 100, 150 members. Wow, there were like four or five guys there who were 
outstanding. And I learned so much from them because I was willing to just listen. There's another way that you can sort of get into this process. You know, people who are willing to share their knowledge in a, in a more kind of structured environment. So over the last couple of years, I've run a couple of cohorts. And this is, this is what happens when I talk to, you know, photographers and we, we work through on a weekly basis in, in virtual meetings and we look at assignments and we discuss photography that goes beyond f-stops and lenses, then something magical happens. Is not only am I giving prompts to people at the beginning to, to help them find their voice, to ask those questions that they may be worried about asking. I'm reminded of the old uh, sign in, in, in the dark room that said, uh, yeah, it's better to ask a stupid question, is to fix a stupid mistake, that they feel a bit more, okay, now I know what to ask. Because they initially are like, well, I don't want to seem like I'm being silly by asking what might be just an obvious question. So there's a supportive environment. Also, the other photographers in this group, in a group of 20, it's not a huge group, you get to know each other, you become supportive, that they start to feel confident about sharing their experiences. And if you think about it, even if all of those 20 people only had a year's worth of photography experience, that's 20 years combined experience to draw from. Plus my 30, then you've got 50 years worth of experience. This, that's the secret that pros have, is that they are around other people who are also sharing experiences that help push them forward, help them grow as a photographer by giving them different perspectives of opening up doors they'd never considered before, instead of staying at this level of constantly just asking the same question over and over again because they don't know what to ask. So in March and May, I'm running two cohorts at the beginning of the year that are going to be four weeks, where every week I'm going to set you an assignment, we're going to talk through it, we're going to discuss an aspect of photography that lays the foundations for you to then be able to ask these questions that open up a huge world of photography. It, it, it's, it's, it's hard to put into words how quickly you can develop as a photographer as soon as you even have just a basic level of ideas and questions that you can ask. Because it just goes boom. It's like everything falls into place. It's like the, 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 just the, the key that unlocks everything. I, I, I'm so excited to be able to like, you know, share this journey with you because I, I really didn't believe when I first got it started with, with the photographic eye that so many people would reach out and say, you know, Alex, you've been helpful in, in inspiring me to rediscover my love for photography or encourage me to pick up the camera or just get out there and shoot. So I, I really hope that you can join me there. As I said, it's 20 people. It's two sets of cohorts, March, May. The link is in the description box below. That's, I, I, I hope you can get there. Now, even if you can't, right, there is a wealth of information that's, that's out there on the internet. I, I find that for me, what worked massively when I was young is not just being, you know, guided by, by knowledgeable photographers, but by listening to the greats of photography, talk, documentaries, all that kind of stuff, where they also, incidentally, drop little, I suppose what the kids call today, truth bombs throughout, you know, they're, they're talking. Much like the guy when he was talking about painters subtracting, or so, so photographers subtracting, painters adding. You know, we, we're confronted by everything around us as a job as a photographer to take away things that don't contribute to the image. And that's, as soon as that shift happened, I was like, wow, that's, that's amazing. So, you know, I would encourage you. Go and listen to photographers. Listen to the people they mention. Listen to the, the, the quotes. Even if, if you haven't got time to watch a documentary, read some quotes from photographers and see if in there, there isn't just something, there's a throwaway comment that just kind of makes things click into place. If you want to find documentaries, you don't know where you can start looking, check this video out here. I put together a list. It's fantastic watching and I will see you again soon.